Good afternoon, this is Dr. Witten with the Nevada Center for Reproductive Medicine, answering a few more of your questions that you guys submitted to our Facebook page. So thanks again for submitting the questions. Hopefully you'll find your answer in the, in the um, answers that we are providing to you guys. Um, I'm just gonna use initials only and therefore I'm not gonna put out your names associated with the questions. So hopefully it's helpful. All right. Uh, MH asks, uh, do you see patients when they're not trying to get pregnant as an endocrinologist? I have polycystic ovarian syndrome and I'm trying to heal or reverse or put in remission nat naturally. It would be nice to see someone sometimes to check progress and levels, etc. The answer is uh, yes, we do. Um, our training in our fellowship is about reproductive endocrinology and infertility. So the reproductive endocrinology does encompass uh, disorders, uh, the most common one is PCOS. So we see lots of patients uh, every year uh, for their PCOS management unrelated to fertility and helping them to achieve pregnancy. It's really about making sure that their diagnosis is correct, making sure they're on the right treatment to control their symptoms, and seeing them on an annual basis to make sure that they're still doing really well and if they are trying to change their plan and, and become pregnant we can talk about what does that look like also. So all very good questions. I thank you guys for submitting them. We'll see you again on another episode.